Welcome, guys. So let's start in the decode the one hundred sixty-two fight find pig element. Uh, yeah. So this problem is basically uh, uh, famous results that uh, I mean the old school problem. Okay. Okay. So basically, the pig elements basically uh, uh, the pig element is strictly greater than its neighbor. Okay. Uh, so which means that uh. Okay, so let me just write a, so uh, right, for example, one, five, four, this is the pick element. Okay, also for the boundary, uh, boundary also works for the pick element. So for example, if five here, three is here, and this five is pick element. Okay, and uh, uh, you can return any of it. Okay, strictly greater. And uh, and I can, okay, yeah, yeah this is just what I say, okay. So for example, three is a pick element, so you need to return its index. And uh, let's say two is a pick element, right? And the uh, five, uh, sorry, six is a pick element. So you can return any of them. And the, don't worry that uh, for very OI. So basically, then uh, you can believe that a pick element always is this. Okay. So well, it's a very old school problem that you can solve, solve this by binary search. Okay, so let me just, uh, for example, okay, so let's say, uh, let's say if you have a ray. Right, and then you use a binary search, then you cut into, let's say this is M. Okay, so uh, and this is M minus one, this is M plus one. Okay, so actually there are three cases. Okay, so let's see. The first case is that uh, the M is less than M plus one. Okay, so which means that uh, uh, this is, let's say this is M, this is M plus one, right? So this meant these guys, not, not, not the pick. So, then the, the, you can search for a pick for this one, right? So we can run the same algorithm on, on this part. Okay, and another case is that uh, this M minus one is greater than M. So M minus one is greater than M, which tell you that uh, uh, you can search for uh, this part, uh, the, the left part. So, uh, so if, okay, so if M, let's say if the, let's say this array code, if, a if m is less than m plus one, then you should search for the right. So you can just make your uh, left left pointer to be m plus one. If m less than m minus one, then you can change your R pointer. Right? Otherwise, what? Otherwise, that uh, m will greater than m minus one and m plus one. So m will be a peak. Right, so if we fail to these two conditions, the only condition is that uh, M is a peak, M is a peak. Okay, and if I finish everything, you did, then uh, the L pointer will be the answer, okay. So basically you can use the idea that uh, uh, solve this. Uh, basically this is, uh, this algorithm description uh, can be found in the MI, MIT algorithm peak. I mean, you can solve for, <laughs> this is the MIT algorithm uh, open course, and uh, one I think one of his semester uh, algorithm uh, introduction to pick finding. So basically, you can just follow this. Basically, you just take a half and then just description, right? So if if the left that's the this, then you go search for this. Uh, sorry, search for the left and search for right and the uh, other way. So basically, you can just see this picture. Uh, you can just see this uh, proof of this will be locked in. So basically, this is like an old school problem. I mean, it's or I mean, you can find it on textbook. So you just copy it from textbook and then you solve it. Okay, and uh, that's it. And uh, there's a two dimensional uh, version, and uh, which is called a pick finding, and also in the uh, MIT's or open courseware. So uh, you can go to, and I will make a video to solve. See you guys.